Let's get back to the kitchen now. John is there with our guest chef today, uh, Derek Blackburn from Food Lovers Catering. Hey, guys. Absolutely. I always enjoy having Derek in the kitchen okay, here. We you, love talking to him about barbecue and his other love, charcuterie. Indeed. Which is a uh, he's amazing chef and uh, there's nothing but great things going to happen with this guy here in Sarasota. Thank you, John. I just tasted one of the best briskets I have ever had in my life, and <laughs> that is no lie. Tell us what you're doing today, sir. Uh, so what's it, what we're doing today is we're going to serve a smoked brisket. Uh, it's Texas style, so it's just seasoned with salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Very traditional. Uh, smoked with post oak, so a good hard wood. Uh, this was actually smoked for 10 hours, and then this little device that I have here is called an immersion circulator. And what it does is you set it to a specific temperature, so 68 degrees Celsius, which is 155 degrees Fahrenheit, and then you just walk away. This is a style of cooking called sous vide cooking, which uh, makes for extremely tender meat it's and uh, uniform temperature throughout the meat. Precisely. It's just very consistent. And if you want to achieve a certain result and brisket, I mean, especially when you have the tail end of it, the leaner pieces, mm -hmm. that's where this comes in. That's why this is so great. It okay. Everything moist. We better get on it. All right. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make our onion and apple crema. Uh, so I've already mm. took the liberty of started sweating our onions down. And that's just, it's half a pound of butter and some yellow onions. So nice. already starting off good. And then what I have here, these are gala apples. So they're, they're sweet, but they're also crisp and slightly acidic. So they'll kind of balance out the onions and the butter. Now, and I'm getting a whiff of some vinegar, too. I'm thinking there's some vinegar in this recipe somewhere. That's over here. That's going to be with okay. our marinated cucumbers and uh, parsley salad. Awesome. Um, and if you notice, what I did here is I actually covered a bowl of water with cling film, and uh, that's what I keep my apples in, and you can see how nice and white they stay. That's true. That's yeah. fantastic. So how, long, how long will that uh, how work for you? About 20 minutes. Otherwise, okay. it'll start to really saturate the apples. Okay. So what we'll do is just let these kind of sweat down together. We'll add our spices, uh, one clove of star anise. Which is kind of a licorice flavored, uh, I guess it was a, it's not an herb, it's spice, right? Yeah, it's a spice. It's uh, similar to fennel or aniseed. And then three clove mm. and two allspice. Oh, it's going to be really savory. Yeah, give you that nice warming feeling as you're eating. Mm -hmm. Nice. And next what we will do is this cooks down is we will work on our pickles. So you're going to let that go for, what, 45 minutes, hour, or something like that? I'd say 20. Yeah, really, just 20 minutes. Just 20, because okay. you want them tender but not mushy, because then the sauce will be mushy. Okay, we're getting short on time, so we need to... Uh... All right, so cucumbers, very simple. You can use a sharp knife. I prefer to use a mandolin, mm -hmm. just because it's much more uniform. Slice them. We have our pickling liquid hot and ready to go over here. You just drop the cucumbers in. Once they come translucent, kill it. Just turn it off and set it to the side. Uh, and with our meat, what we're going to do is we're going to pull it out of our bag. And I know this can be a little disconcerting for people seeing food come out of a bag, but trust me, it's, it's worth it. That's uh, really fantastic. Sous vide is a great uh, technique. But it's not just sous vide that you've done here. You've also, like you say, you've got a very impressive smoker, and you, 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 you smoked that baby up for, what would you say, 10 hours? 10 hours. 10 hours on post oak at 220. Mm -hmm. um, and so what we're going to do is you can see right here, this is the grain of the meat. And this is also the grain of the meat. You want to cut against the grain. That keeps it nice and tender. And that's this way. So what we'll do, just got a couple about nice slices. Left. So cut one extra slice there, if you wouldn't mind. And that would be for the uh, That would be for you. For the TV host here. <laughs> Thank you. And as far as plating is concerned, mm. very straightforward. And while you plate that up, because we're good to go there, while you get that plated up, I want to remind everybody that the recipe for this is on our website, mysuncoast.com. Go on there, and Derek's uh, information will all be there. Plus, you can check out his website, too, which is pretty interesting yes, stuff. Yes, it's there. Uh, flcfoodlovers.com. There you go. So there's your final product. There's Man, our final product. Man, does it look good. I can only tell you it smells even better. Mm -hmm. That is some good eating. Yes, Derek, sir. thanks very much for coming in today. Always a pleasure. Thank you, John. We'll be right back.